What is the purpose of the Black, Black, uh, Black Student Union at Antelope <coughs> Valley College? What is the purpose of that? I, it may, it may be a different purpose from when it started, because when I, when I came there, it had already started like five years before that. Okay. You're but, the president um, of it now, right? Yeah, yeah. When I first went, when I first came there, I was already like into it. Um, but I would say, as a president, um, my goal or our mission statement is to kind of fix the gaps that are at our school. Uh, we're, we are at a, a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution. Right. The students are not predominantly white. The majority of the students are Hispanic. It's like 65 percent Hispanic. Really? At Antelope Valley College. But the faculty and staff are like all all white. Right. So um, I work I also work at the at the college and um, I work in the theater. And there was an event where they had all the faculty and staff just go over things that they need to know for the coming school year. And it's 400 something staff, 400, 500 staff. And I honestly can say it was about 30 black teachers or and not even teachers, just staff. They might not be teachers. They might be technical analysts. They might be uh, whatever. But we just we just seen that the numbers of African-American, not even African-American, just minority teachers there are at a very low rate. So uh, what we do is we try to nurture nurture the black student and making sure that he is academically or she's academically successful while they're at an institution that uh, the faculty and staff don't look like them amazing and how do you nurture them what do you do exactly by letting them by letting them know that uh, they have value and they have worth um, they don't know that already before they get there a lot of students don't oh and so you don't you do you do you guys believe that the white teachers <coughs> were, would not let them know they have value? No, no, we don't. We work? don't think that the white teachers, all the white teachers are like, yo, we hate these black students. It's not. We don't think that. But I have verbatim, not verbatim. Um, I have directly heard teachers say things like that. But that's not the majority of white teachers. They on have campus. said things like what? Um, there's been teachers that are very, very open about not liking students of color and um, What have they said? Students. Give me an example of what they've said. Uh, I, don't, I don't like black students on the campus. So you've heard te white teachers, some white yeah. teachers say, Cause I, I don't like black students Yeah, because I, since I work there, I, I go to different events and I, I'm in the inner school more than Right. More than a traditional student that just goes to class and go home. Right. Um, so I've definitely heard in meetings and things like that. Well, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't do this because that's not in our best in our best interest. The teachers are saying that, but it's not about the, the teachers' best interest. It's about and they the said that in front of you. Yeah. I've and so heard that. if if it's a negative, why would they say it in front of you? Why wouldn't they? I mean, I feel that if they feel strong enough about something. They'll say it in front of anybody. You will. You wouldn't denounce Christianity in a room full of atheists. And so, but these teachers run the risk of getting in trouble if they're saying, "I don't like black students at the school in front of a black man." That's the president of the Black Student Union, right? At uh, Valley Antelope Valley College, couldn't they get in trouble for saying that? Uh, it depends on who else is in the room, because if there are other people that believe that same thing, other white people. It doesn't matter who it is. If it's other people that believe that they don't necessarily need to uh, nurture the, a, a black student in their academic success and their academic journey, then they wouldn't well, get in trouble. But I don't understand. They were not afraid that you would report them? Uh, some of them don't really, some of them don't really care. How do you know that? Because they probably have been, I know, uh, of course, I'm not going to say any names, but there's teachers or faculty and staff that have been there for years, right? Years and years. Um, and they have had complaint after complaint after complaint, but they're still there, right? right? So that obviously means that whoever they are reporting to and whoever is relaying the message that they are giving to their students, right? 
that they are they co-sign that behavior. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, what else do? You, what other thing you do as a black student union? What is the other another purpose? Um, we we want to make sure that we um, that we are heard, and we're trying to be the voice of the unheard black student on campus. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of students that just feel that their voices aren't recognized and heard in what way, and by whom? Needs, I would say needs. What are the needs? Uh, for one, uh, a big need is the type of teachers that we would like to have on campus. Um, there are some teachers that are, it seems like they're there for like just a paycheck, you know. Um, and they're really not enthused about the, the subject that they teach. Right. So, and I feel like that goes around the board though, with white students, Mexican students, whatever. Right. You know, the teacher needs to be as enthused if he would like that to be reciprocated in class. Do black students need black teachers at a predominantly white university? Yes. You do need black teachers, why? Yes, you need black, black teachers, you need Mexican teachers, you need Asian teachers. Why? Um, statistically speaking, uh, students do better when their teachers look like them. Why? Because they can relate. In what way? For a perfect example, <laughs> a few semesters ago, I had a African American history class and the teacher was a white woman. Right? Is she able to learn African American history? Of course. She has her master's in it. Of course she has the ability to. But I I personally do not relate to what she's saying when when we are talking about um she may say, Oh, the 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 struggle of the black man or the black woman, it's it's such a struggle, blah blah blah. <laughs> and I'm just like, how would you know that enjoy, yeah. how would you know that you mm -hmm. know so it's hard to relate to a teacher like that really yes uh so if black students need black teachers why do you go to a predominantly white school with white teachers why don't you go to a black school oh i'm going or, to a black school that's but, where i'm trying to go but right why now. do black kids go to a predominantly white school if they know they feel this way about the white teacher why not just go to a black school well, it's not that simple. You can't just say get out. You can't just graduate high school and say, "Oh, I just want to go here, so I'm going to go there." But why even apply at a white school, knowing you're not going to be happy, your needs are not going to be met, and if you feel your needs are not going to be met, why even apply at a white school? Uh, well, for Antelope Valley College, this is, since it's a community college, it's much more easier to go to a community college and into a four-year. It's cheaper that way. Uh -huh. So it might be for financial issues. And why did you go there? I went, first of all, I didn't even want to go to college, <laughs> if we're being honest. You did not want to go to college? Oh, no. Why did you go? Uh, no. uh, it started off with my father saying, I'm not raising no grown man. So, you know, and that's totally fine. I understand that. Right. Uh, he said, you, the only way you can stay in this house is if you go to college. Really? Yeah. And so you went to college so you could stay at home with your parents? At the time, yeah, because I finished, I finished high school when I was 17. Oh, I see. And I didn't have Why didn't you just or, get a job at 17? One job probably is not sufficient enough to keep me afloat with you the get house two and jobs. a car. Yeah, but that's, you know, I didn't, at the time I wasn't ready. Oh, I see. At 17. Are you ready now? Yeah, I'm, that's where I'm trying to go. I'm, well, I'm trying to go to another college so right now. So why don't you drop out of school and get a job? Well, that's not, everything changed now. Since I started, uh -huh. it's been different now. What are you majoring in? I'm a theater arts major. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't understand why black kids, some black kids feel that white teachers can't teach them in the same manner any black teacher teaches them. I don't understand, I don't get that. Well, it's about, Relatability, again, like I said. But how, um, you want to like relate like a soul brother? Not even in that, not even in that sense. I would just like, I, w I would like, if we're talking about technology, right? I don't want to hear technology from somebody that knows nothing about technology. But if it's a teacher, no matter what the color, they already know, that's why they're a teacher. So they know about technology, right? But that's, I'm saying the relatability aspect of it is not there. So, so like, it's hard to be like cool with your teacher. It's hard to be in terms of- With a white teacher? No, 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 not with a white teacher. I'm saying 
for me, I'm saying with like the African American history, uh, like a, like a white teacher teaching that why to a the, group of black students. So, like, give me an example of being cool with the black so-called okay. African American. I have a like I have a teacher there that me and him are like super cool. Like we we texting each other. Well, you you good? What you doing today? Type type thing. Like we cool, right? right? It's not because it's not even because he's black. He's not even an African American history teacher. He's an English teacher. Right. Um, but the fact that I he could uh, talk about topics uh, in his personal life or in this academic journey that we are all going through as college students, we can relate to that as black students. If black students didn't hate white people, would they be able to relate to them then? <laughs> they don't. I never said hate. You said hate. Right. I didn't say hate. Um, and, and that's my question. I don't question. think black students hate white students. Then why I can't mean, white they, teachers, excuse me. Well, then why can't they relate then? Because that's the only thing that would divide them is their anger or resentment of white teachers and white people. Just, it's not in, they're not into the same, the same things or they don't understand this. It's, it's a different narrative, I would say that, with, from a white teacher and their, and their life or whatever they've done and whatever they have to deal with when it comes to finances or societal issues or whatever. So if a broke black person goes <coughs> to a white teacher and say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Teacher, I'm broke, can you direct me to the finance department and help me get it? That teacher wouldn't be able to re get finance. Would that teacher be, that white teacher relate to that? That's not relatability, that's direction. You, all you have to say is it's right here. So, so if the white teacher said, okay, so brother, uh, you African Mary, African Mary's sister, come on, let me help your sister. Then that's related. No, if they <laughs> that's said, not. That's absolutely not related. And they said, Child, I know how you feel. Come on, let me go down here and help you. Is no. that related? No. That's, how you? How that's, you, that's just. Uh, how do you, how do you relate then? Relatability has nothing to do with how they're talking or <laughs> vernacular or anything. Well, what's like relating that? though? I don't get the relating thing. I it's, really don't get the relating thing. The, the narrative, the whole narrative is different from an African, it's not, now, now we're not even talking about teachers and students, now we're talking about people. Right. The narrative and what white people have dealt with and what African Americans have dealt with from colonial times to now, totally different. And that's, you can't dispute that, that's facts. What have you as a black American dealt with that a uh, white person at your school haven't dealt with. At your age, same thing. What have you dealt with that they haven't dealt with? Well, just with my club. It's harder to get certain things approved. You know, if we want to have an event, okay. it, it takes a little longer. It takes a little longer. It, it, when we try to get, <clears throat> excuse me, money out of our account, um, it takes a little longer than it would uh, other students. And I tried this, I did a survey and I went, and I asked the, the uh, STEM club, I went and asked the, uh, the Alpha Iota club, these are clubs that are predominantly white. How long did it take you to get your money out of your account? Three days, two days? Oh, okay, well, um, they told us a month or two. So I just would, why is that? It's that hard, it's like that for Republican clubs on campuses as well, Republican white clubs to get money to sponsor speakers Whereas for white liberal clubs or black liberal clubs, it's not as hard. It's harder for a white Republican club than it is for your club. Is that racism? No, because <laughs> you said, well, first of all, we don't even have those types of clubs. We don't have that kind of club, right? Uh, a Republican club. They might have that at a four year uh, right. USC or something like that. But uh, I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't call that Racism. What would you call that? What did you? I'm sorry, I can't remember what you, you were saying. You said it's hard for the black student unions to get money to do function. Right, and you were saying Republican clubs can't do that as well. It's hard for them too. Oh, okay. The same manner is that racism? No, I would say that is that has a. Depending on whoever the powers that be that are allowing them to do that, uh -huh. I would say they just may not be Republican. 